We are back in friend zone three and we're working on getting our last two endings and I believe they are at the ski trip in the mountains with Zoe. So we made it to the, uh, the fork in the path, you know, in a fork in the story. And we have just told Lucy that we are going to go on the trip with Zoe. And that's where we're going to pick up. So without further ado, let's get right back into it. Chapter seven, the trip. On the day of the trip, you've been on the bus with Zoe and her group of friends for several hours already. You're sitting next to Elena, and Zoe seems to be avoiding you. What? You better not be avoiding me, Zoe. Now, this is all brand new. We haven't seen any of this in any of the other videos for Friend Zone 3 because we never actually went on the trip before. So Zoe is sitting next to Mara when seven rows up. She's got a book in her hands. Pensive, you look at out the bus window. Lena starts talking to you. Are you bored? So we talked with Lena a little bit when we were in the group chat with Zoe and Lena. Am I bored? Just admiring the view. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a little bored. I'm a little bored. We're just sitting in a, in a, in a bus. Is it because of Zoe? Your objective of this chapter is to gather information. Okay, okay. It's not because of her. Did I do something wrong? Yeah, this is, what did I do? Did I do anything wrong? Hey, well, let's get some information. Start asking questions. You're not the only one she's ignoring. She's ignoring Lena too. Why is she ignoring us, though? Why do you think she's acting that way? She's probably just thinking through some things. I can be like that sometimes. Why, why do you think she's acting that way? Not in her head or anything, but I think Marwin may have something to do with it. He's been eyeing up Zoe for a while now. Eyeing up Zoe? Excuse me, Marwin, you better keep your eyes to yourself. Because he's got no chance. So that's what you've got. You say that, but you don't even know him. But I know Zoe. And I know about her expectations. You both hear Zoe laugh up front. You know, I remember there was a time when I was deeply in love with a guy. One day he sat down in front of me and ignored me. He was laughing with other people while I was sitting all alone. I mean, he's allowed to spend time with other people, but he finally told me that uh, he was purposely ignoring me to try to forget me. So is Zoe trying to forget me? Did he, did he react that way because you're being pushy? People are so mean sometimes. Luckily, not everyone is. He really hurt me, and even years later, I still don't really have an answer why. Oh, she was madly in love. I think that no, uh, I think that not matter. <laughs> I think that not matter the type of relationship you have with someone. If you want it to go well, then balance has to be stable. That's true. That's true. Gotta have balance. Nobody deserves to be ignored, and Zoe isn't ignoring us. She's just got a lot on her mind. Laughing is her way. To forget all of that stuff. You both hear Marwin laugh as well. Marwin doesn't sound tired, that's for sure. The complete opposite of Rick, who fell asleep on his laptop. What a geek. <laughs> Maybe I should go smack him with a book to wake him up. I'm going to go to the other. Be right back. Okay, so Lena got up. Uh, I'm just, okay, I, it's fine. Go, go do what you got to do, Lena. Lena doesn't think you're very happy. You look out the window again. Oh, Zoe, talking to me. Zoe hops in Lena's seat, smiling. I hope this won't bother Lena. Are you two doing okay? What do you mean, you two? Zoe, it's supposed to be us, not you two. Looks like there's chemistry with you two, you know. No, no. Don't hold it against me. I always have very deep conversations with you guys, and I needed to take a step away for a bit. It's all good as long as you're having a good time with Mara. Nah, Mara can, can walk away. Now, 
Hardly noticed it. No worries. What's bothering you? What's bothering you, Zoe? Nothing too important. Does it bother you if I take a nap here? Not at all. Go ahead. Go right ahead. All right. She closed her eyes. Falls 20 minutes later. You notice that her phone falls out of her pocket. She is sleeping soundly. Oh, do we do we unlock? Do we do we invade her privacy? No, no, no. I don't, mm, I don't know. I'm not gonna do it this time. Maybe next time. I'm not gonna do it this time. Put the phone back down next to her. Zoe wakes up suddenly. Oh, we didn't. That that. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. And and I did not look in it. I didn't look in it at all. Just just a few seconds ago. Puts her phone in her, pot, in, in her suitcase without looking at it. Can't wait until we arrive. We'll be staying one full day and night at the base of the mountain. We'll build a campfire there, so I hope you know how to light a fire tongue-tied. Of course I do. I'm pretty good at that. I have to teach her how. And then we'll act like we're in Blair Witch. Yes. Just like the Blair Rich. I have a feeling something's gonna go wrong. I can't wait. <laughs> she says as she closes her eyes again, but before we tell each other our nightmares, I go back to the world of dreams. Don't snore too much this time. <laughs> Same here, I guess. I don't know. Chapter 8. Things get heated at the campfire. You're all now at the base of the mountain and the altitude is 100 feet. Still thinking of previous... I can't, I can't read that. I couldn't read it fast enough. I tried. I couldn't read it fast enough. Your group is walking in the forest and looking for a place to set up camp. This is going to be a long night. Let's hope that it's a good night, full of good memories. No reason for it not to be the case, right? Because eh, there's no reason. We've got everyone, everything and everyone we need to have a good time. Besides the campfire, we've got everything we need right now. Rick and Marwin and their entertaining stories. Lena with her guitar. She's going to put us to sleep with her guitar. Oh, that's Rick or Marwin that, that just said that. Tongue-tied to serve dinner. Uh, should we ignore him? Uh, this is funny. Oh, you find that funny? Like if something happens, we'll be able to count on him to protect us. And like you two, that's right, Zoe. You tell him, Zoe. Rick and Marwin always have plenty of wild stories, but they're the first to be afraid of them. <laughs> Thanks, Zoe. Oh, Zoe's getting closer to me. Speaking of food, Rick, did you bring marshmallows? The force is magical tonight. Did you forget the marshmallows? Yeah, <laughs> you forgot the marshmallows. They remind me not to trust you next time. Let's stop here. There's a nice clearing to set up camp. Looks good. So now what? Let's get the fire going. Let's let's get the fire going. Let's split them in smaller groups. Gather gather firewood. There's an odd number of us. Let's split up in two groups. I'll go with Rick. I want to be with Marwin. There will be our two groups then. I'll go with the boys so they don't get lost. And I'm gonna be with Zoe. I wanted to go with Zoe anyways. Same here. Look at Zoe loves me. Oh, the group that brings back the most wood wins. There's three of you. That's not fair. It's actually two and a half of us. <laughs> Lainey gets <laughs> gently shoves Rick. If you keep talking shit, you'll soon be the one counting for zero. Zoe 
starts walking away and you follow her. You both go deeper in the woods and the darkness surrounding you increases. So I suppose you've been wanting to hook up with me. Hell yeah! Because we make a good team. I just enjoy spending time with you. Let's just say that we're better off when they're not here. I don't like any of these answers. Where's the simple yeah? Let's just say that we're better off when they're not here. Oh, you didn't want to be with them. I just wanted to be with you, Zoe. Zoe stays. I'll admit that I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Later tonight, you and I could go check it out. I know a place where the view, it's not spelled right, where the view is absolutely amazing. You can see smiles ahead of you and the sky looks endless. Oh, you can see miles, not smiles. You can see miles ahead of you and the sky looks endless. Why not check it out right now? Let's go. Let's go do it. Patience is a virtue, don't you think? It's true. It's true. Okay. Uh, should we be pushy? No, no, no. We'll wait. We'll wait. It's okay. So let's wait a bit. Plus, the others would be waiting around for us. But in the meantime, let me talk to you about something. The other day, I was reading a story of a man who's been in a coma for 35 years. The story goes that during those 35 years, he was dreaming of a life with other people. When he woke up, he was completely confused and saddened to have left the dream, even though he was reunited with his family. Could you imagine if all this was just a dream when you woke up and you didn't really know me and actually had a completely different life? That would be freaking crazy. I couldn't imagine. That would be that would be wild. Uh, what if that's really the case? Maybe soon we'll never speak to each other again. <laughs> Maybe we'll find out that we never even knew each other. What if that really was the case? And yeah, I can imagine. What if that really was the case? Why are you saying that? Because I didn't really know what else to say. <laughs> uh, never mind. Never mind. I don't want to <laughs> ruin the moment. We'll talk about all that tonight when we won't have much to do. I don't know if talking is going to be all that we're going to be doing. Might not have time to talk, you know. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying. To talk about it now, okay? We'll talk about it later. That's fine. That's fine. We'll talk about it later. Zoe continues to pick up wood. Let's not linger too much longer. I'm starting to get hungry, aren't you? I'm always hungry. I'm always hungry. Are you challenging me? I'm always hungry too. <laughs> Both be stuffing our faces, I guess. But first, the wood. I've already got at least a dozen sticks. You can give me some of yours. That will work. I can carry some of that if you want. I'm not the type of person to let someone else do all the work. Yeah, I can I can carry some of that if you want. Oh, Zoe gets closer. Take half of these. Shall we go back to camp? Let's go. Brian still hasn't responded. I'm probably going to end up dropping the whole thing. Hope that craziness will end soon. Brian's not with us, so let's talk about something else. Yeah, I, I hope it all just ends. Just, 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 just forget about it. Forget about it. Just like to turn back time, but you can't. I'll find a way to help Brian. We both arrive back at camp. Uh, you notice that there's already a campfire set up. You guys took your time. We had time to start the fire on our own. So he starts freaking out. Uh-oh. Oh, no, her phone's missing. I missed a call from my mom. Oh, no. The whole group gets silent. Don't worry. I'm sure it'll be fine. Just start eating without me. I'm going to call her back. She walks off. Hmm. Yeah, that's a shame. I hope I hope her grandpa's doing okay. If you remember in earlier videos, she her grandpa wasn't doing very well and was in the hospital and 
that was the, the call she took early on. But how did she miss the call until now? I mean, you usually get notified, right? She was sleeping and, and had her head in the clouds all day. That's strange. I hope that it's not what I think it is. Hmm. Yeah, that, that is strange. I'm going to send her some reassuring messages. Oh, yeah, tell that horror story. Force going to remain silent. Here she comes. Zoe walks out of the silhouette in the distance. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> Walk up to her. You arrive in a wonderful place. The place she was telling you about. Oh, perfect. What are we doing here? We know what we're doing there, so we're just going to stay quiet. We're not going to try to ruin anything. I think you know what happened. You were there for me and, and let me open up to you. We're high up here and I wanted to bring you here tomorrow morning. Since the beginning, I had it all planned out. I even made sure that we would be able to admire the best sunsets and sunrises from here. The picture that was in a group chat with Lena last week, it was taken here. Calm down, Zoe. Everything's going to be okay. Let's Let her keep talking. Let her keep talking. Lips start trembling. Too many people have abruptly left my life in the past. So promise that promise me that you'll never betray me because you can count on me to never do the same. I promise. You know you can rely on me, Zoe. I want to apologize again for ignoring you and Lena this this morning. I saw that she was sitting next to you, and I just felt selfishly wanted to forget that awful feeling. But now that I've lost yet another person in my life, it would be dumb to keep ignoring you. You, Brian, Lucy, Maru, and Rick, I apologize to all of you for being so distant. Oh, so she did lose her grandpa. That's so sad. Hmm. I will always be here for you, Zoe. I never took our friendship seriously, even though she takes care of me. I mean, just take a look at the messages she's sending me now to lift my spirits. What's wrong, Zoe? It was you. Marwin and Rick just told me that you had opened up my phone. You saw the call and deleted the notification. What? And all while I was asleep? My frozen screen showing my password two weeks ago. It, what? Was that? I didn't. What? No. I didn't do nothing. Oh, she's so mad at me. I trusted you. She keeps hitting me. Oh, I know you've been lying to me from the start. I did. I was not. What? She slides down the side of the hill. Oh no, she fell. What? Zoe's death. Oh no. It was an accident. I swear, I didn't do it. It wasn't me. It was an accident. Zoe was able to admire the stars before closing her eyes for the last time. It wasn't the ending she was expecting. It's not the ending I was expecting either. You were a hero to her, but your reputation in her eyes all of a sudden came crashing down the mountains. <laughs> That's terrible. picture of the view in the group chat with Lena was the very last or the very place she dreamed to take you. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm guessing that was a bad ending. I was actually thought I thought we were going to get the good ending there. I thought we were going to be like happily ever after with Zoe, but 
that didn't happen. That was a bad ending. Zoe fell off the cliff and died. It was terrible. I can't believe it. I don't even know how I'm supposed to go back and, and get the good ending. I thought I was getting the good ending. But we're going to try. We're going to try to get that good ending, and I'll get that out for you guys to see. If you're enjoying Friend Zone 3 and you're enjoying these videos, hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel for more. As always, thanks for watching. Love you all. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Thank you.